And Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. And he preferred her and her mates unto the best place of the house of the women. Let me say to everyone, please uh, don't misinterpret your Haggai. Haggai likes you. Haggai has an assignment to make you better. Please don't meet your Haggai and start cheating your Haggai. Don't meet your Haggai and start sleeping with your Haggai. There were people God sent to you, they were just supposed to be destiny helpers. But people of God, you turned them into something else. There were people God sent to you. You were supposed to show loyalty and you became a liar and a cheat. Did you hear what I just said? There were people God sent to you. But instead of you doing and abiding by the principles in which God brought them into your life, you turned them into something else. The young women God sent into your life to help your business. You turned them to your sesmeet. There were people that, that, that know somebody that knows somebody that will be helpful to you. Shabada, but you succeeded in playing games with three of their friends, including herself as well. And then you came out of it feeling like a champion. But guess what? You're a champion, but you just lost an opportunity. And I want to say to every young woman, not every man who smiles at you, Bashara, means that you should give your body to that person. I might communicate. Don't misinterpret your hega. People of God, if you draw the line, they will receive sense. That they smile at you, oh, that, that man likes me. <laughs> he really likes me. He, he, he really likes me. Naturally, God has already placed favor in his heart for you. But you are misinterpreting it. And that's why the next time you went to that office, you wore something you shouldn't wear. I started chewing, chewing God. And then you had all this long thing you put in your eyes and you start flickering it like that. You are misinterpreting your hair guy. And then finally, if the man succeeds in sleeping with you, he will understand that that's not the reason why you came. That's not what God put in my heart for you. And you say, Pastor, they just slept with me and walked away. No, sir. They realized that you were the wrong person. They realized if they helped you, you would become a python and a viper and bring them down. Don't misinterpret your anger. That guy has an assignment because there's a makeover coming. Man, about all this makeover we are talking about, God is not going to come from heaven and so clothed for you. He's going to send people when they walk into your life. Understand why they came. And please, don't misinterpret their role in your life. They're not there to be a sugar daddy. Can I get an amen? Your hair guy gave you um, a lift from church. Please, he's married. Did you hear what I just said? Don't misinterpret the reason for it. Every kind man does not want to sleep with you. Don't become the temptation.